Good morning, guys. So, just two things I want to touch on. Um, they're on Saturday or Sunday. I said, right, social need, media needs to be cut out, so I've deleted all the apps off my phone. I only go on to post. Um, I use different software. I've got a few other softwares that I can use, and I can just um, I can just post from them without going on to actual the the, so, the social media account itself. But I do pop on just to check it like once a day, um, just to post. And it's why it's half eleven now at the moment as I'm recording this. I did my live stream class this morning for the gym. Then I trained myself, came home, got through a mountain of work that I put off kind of on the, the long finger I dipped in and out of it but I wasn't getting it done I, I lashed through that had some nice food and uh, now it's half eleven and I'm going to go hit some hill sprints I was expecting to do these at about like one or two o'clock today but I'm going to hit it at half eleven now because I'm free um, yeah pretty amazing when you don't have that distraction just even taking it out like going on Instagram for five minutes here and there it adds up to a few hours easily over the course of a day so um, that's obviously one benefit and then I'm going to talk to you about the best hands down the best supplement I use um, it's a little secret known to some not enough um, but I'm going to take it now then I'm going to hit my sprints and then I'm going to fill you in about it So that's the sprints done. Just five rounds on the sprints up a steep hill. Um, decent pace. Open up the stride a bit. Nothing too crazy. But it's gorgeous out. So now I'm going to do about a three kilometer run on like a steady incline. Bit of a hill, but it's not it's not straight up like the hill sprints I was doing or when you hit the mountain. So it's along the road for three, about three kilometers. Once I hit the start of the mountain, I'm going to do 20 seconds sprint up it. And then 40 seconds kind of walk to recovery. 20 seconds sprint, I'm going to do that until I get up to the top. So I don't know how many rounds that will be, but um, yeah, it should be a bit of fun. So yeah, going to get back outside now and get after it. So as I was saying, my secret little weapon is sodium or pink Himalayan salt because I'm fancy. Here we go, the fun. Focus. Yeah. Um, obviously, all electrolytes are important. Um, I do take them time to time just for hydration, and they're they're important for all all muscle contractions. But um, specifically, I'm, I'm keep an eye to you know just to salt my foods well because you use you lose a lot of a lot of sodium uh, when you sweat. So when you sweat, you you lose a lot more sodium than potassium. So I sweat like an absolute like I sweat like a pig. So um, obviously it's warm out training a lot. I'll feel it one day if I have a day where I don't have a, a decent salt intake, and I've sweated a lot. The next day I'll be cramping. And there was just one occasion that I really noticed with this. Now I would have obviously I studied sports science and. I'd know, I'd know the importance of it, but I just never really paid a huge attention to it. And yeah, we were in the gym, myself and Jay, we were running prowler sprints. It's quite tough, and anaerobic work. And it would be first three rounds, you know, it would be close, I might be winning. Then after the third one, Jay just started to smoke me. Um, you know, this was happening on and on. And then, you know, I'd, my legs would just feel heavy. I was in bits, so then I started to increase my salt intake, and literally in a week, um, I yeah, I got to that third sprint, fourth sprint, I was fine, fifth, I was just able to maintain, and I wasn't fatiguing as much. Um, obviously, I, I sweat so much, and it's, it's real salty when, when I sweat, so 
replacing that for me is hugely important. Um, I'll do a video later on it, just on on sodium and, and all the electrolytes and sports performance, um, but I'm not getting into that today. Um, this is going to be a little bit more, a little bit more bro-esque, but um, yeah, that that's been the biggest, uh, you know, the biggest change I've made with with anything in training. I've never taken a single thing that's improved performance like uh, like salt or sodium in particular. Um, and sodium's not the devil. People make it out to be. You know, there's just uh, like maybe five to ten percent people that might have kidney issues and they, they don't respond too well to salt. But like for 90% of people, salt isn't, isn't gonna be an issue and it's not the devil, it's made out to be. You can actually, like if people go to, you know, they change to eating, say, say healthy, call it clean, call it what, what you want, they're not eating processed food. You know, they're not as high sodium content in it so they can actually you know, have a little bit of a deficiency with the with with their sodium intake. Whereas if you're eating junk food, um, that just comes along with a lot of a lot of sodium. So it's kind of where where it got uh, painted, um, you know, for the wrong reasons. But yeah, that was just a quick little uh, insight into sodium and, and my greatest performance enhancer. Uh, absolute magic for. For any repeated sprints and and work capacity but i'll talk later on that but yeah as you saw got my sprints done today i was flying um because i had the the sodium in me and then i went and yeah i did my five sprints then i did about a it actually turned out to be a kilometer and a half run then once i got to the, the start of the mountain i would do a 30 second sprint and then um 30 second sprint and then slow for about a minute. Just kept doing that until I got to the top. It was about a good 20 minutes of that. Quite a high elevation. I think I can throw in my um, screenshot of my my Polar here, or my Apple Watch, whatever one I was wearing. Um, yeah, it was a rough one, seven kilometers in total. Um, mix of jogging and, and some sprints with some, some kind of recovery runs as well. Just a little bit more, more fun because up in the mountains, a lot more fun running than, than pounding the pavements here. But yeah, that was that was today's work and flying without the social media, got 10 times more work done than normal, but yeah, I'll keep it coming. I'm only jumping on to Instagram just to post and share this stuff. And yeah, that's about it. But any questions, comment below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll do a video later on at a, on a later date, just about kind of, electrolytes and sports performance and the importance for athletes but yeah that's it for today guys and i'll see you tomorrow